Hi everyone, what I want to show you now is a mating trap that's not especially well known and is uh, useful to know if you're attacking or defending. It's, it's good to be able to spot it. So I'll use a sample game just so you can see how uh, the position could possibly arise. This is Anthony Miles against Walter Sean Brown and the opening was a symmetrical English and went as follows. The opening is not too relevant here, so I'm just going to glaze straight over it. And this is the position in which White now can play the mating trap. And you'll notice that the knights are off the board. And uh, quite importantly, there's no knight on f6, which is usually a very important defender. And it's also sometimes quite difficult to attack without knights, but, well here's the mating trap anyway. It goes, bishop takes h7 check, and after king takes h7, queen to h5 check, king g8, then bishop takes g7, so it's a double bishop sacrifice. And here the king is basically obliged to take, if he doesn't then the queen's going to go to g8, with, or h8 with mate. So after king takes g7, then queen g5 check. King h8, queen f6 check, king g8, rook c4. And here Brown resigned because he has no way of stopping the rook coming over to g4 and the black king will be mated. Fritz recommends here just to sacrifice the queen, which is crazy, you know, but engines will do anything in order to stop the mate. So it's uh, an absolutely one game for white. Black will basically have to sacrifice everything he has in order to stop the mate. So uh, that's the trap anyway. I'll, uh, I'll show you one more example. And this game was Kuzmin against Shvezhnikov, who was a famous GM, the very well known line and very well respected line of the Sicilian, the Shvezhnikov variation is named after him. Him and a friend of his, another grandmaster, did uh, a lot of work towards it. And so this really shows that even uh, top-level GMs can fall into the same trap. The game went e4, c5, Sicilian, and on like this. Now, at this stage, you notice that the knight has just moved away from f6, so it's no longer stopping uh, the attack. But there's a small problem now. If white goes for the attack now, the same mating trap again. After the rook lift, as knight takes f4, which uh, stops the attack dead in its tracks, and black would have the advantage here so Kuzman knowing this trap at this point he played knight b6 and Shveshnikov played knight takes b6 which of course is a mistake if he had moved the knight back to f6 he would have been okay but he uh, overlooked the possibility of this mating trap and played after knight b6, knight takes b6, and so white again has the exactly the same mating trap. Bishop takes g7, king takes g7, queen g4, check, king h7, rook f3, and once again there's no way to stop the mate. So it's a great trap to know, and there's a couple of things to keep in mind. You have to have the two bishops lined up attacking g7 and h7, you have to have the queen available to go to attack on the king's side, usually to h5, and you have to be able to do a rook lift for the sequence to work. And once that's all taken care of and black doesn't have an knight on f6, then you're in business. So I uh, hope you have some success with that. Please leave any comments or thoughts. Thanks very much.